In the past month, I accepted every interesting gadget that companies wanted to send me. We have an auto-tracking phone stabilizer, a see-through power bank, high-tech XR glasses from Vitcher, and a bunch more. The first product is from a company you might know already. This is the Devoom Timesgate, and this is the same company that makes the famous pixel panels. This is huge. I thought it was going to be much smaller. Now, this is not a cheap gadget. The price was $149, and these are basically five separate monitors. You can display a bunch of stuff on this okay so we just installed the devoom times gate in the setup and when it's turned on you can easily just turn it off or turn it on again i launched the application here and there's a bunch of cool looking themes this is a cyberpunk one this shows the active cryptocurrency rates in the middle we can change everything separately and zana made something already so it does take a while as you can see to load it but it's not that bad and it just started loading again it's restarting now okay currently it's completely rebooting i'm not sure why it did that maybe Maybe it crashed. Zana also made some iPhone footage from during the testing. It crashed back then as well. I don't think this is a very stable gadget. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, it just restarted again. I'm not really a fan of this. Now, the next product is really, really, really cool. It's Cyborg by Azeron. So this is a very heavy, but also a very premium macro device. The price is around $200, but you can completely customize this to your own needs, not only by using their premium steel screwdriver to readjust and then secure all parts separately i mean look at this you can customize everything you can make sure that it perfectly fits your hand before sending me this product they asked me to measure the length of my hand because the device is tailored to your own size and on their website there's a whole tool to customize your own not only can you choose the size of this device you can also change the color of every individual part so for my index finger i have one button right here then a second here then a third a fourth if I push forward, a fifth if I push to the right, and then a sixth if I push to the top. That's six bindings for one finger. What I think this would be very useful for is MMOs like World of Warcraft, for example, and we found a comment on Amazon of someone saying that this is a game changer for playing WoW, which I can absolutely understand. Now, there was a complaint in that comment about the joystick on the side, and that's this one right here, but the person also said that Azeron replaced the joystick for free. Now, besides those few comments about the joystick, all of them were extremely positive i opened the software here so if you press these buttons on the keypad you can see which ones you're pressing in the software and you can rebind them and i started a custom game here in leak so i can now do all my abilities with this keypad this is really cool but here's the thing at first glance you might think i don't need that many keybinds with my game but then you start looking around and thinking about it there's a lot of stuff you can bind for example moving my thumb like this opens the settings then these basic buttons that my fingers are resting on are my abilities but then and also for example besides these ones here there's also buttons on the top and i'm using these to level up so instead of clicking here on the bottom i can just go here press this boom leveled up it's also not perfectly adjusted to my hand right now we're just testing it out and even then it feels pretty comfortable and also here on the bottom you have a bunch of items that you can activate and so that's bound to this button so if i want to eat a cookie i just do this and boom activate it. It definitely is expensive but if you adjust this thing perfectly to your hand with all the screws and you keep using all these keybinds in game I think this could definitely be something interesting to use. Now the next product is very interesting because I check out a lot of RGB products and these are premium RGB strips. They're from Cololite I've never heard of the brand but they have 60 LEDs per meter. That's the same as the Govi M1 strips and this is not the only product we have from Cololite. We have 4 products. Besides this RGB strip we also have triangle wall panels we have stackable hexagon panels to put on your desk and they also send us a cyberpunk themed desk controller this is a very interesting gadget i'm not sure what it'll do exactly but one thing i know is that you can control all the rgb with that controller so that's what we're gonna test later in the video but first i need to thank the sponsor of today's video owned want to live stream but not spend days on finding great stream graphics owned pro is the ultimate stream graphics companion it now features the scene builder which allows you to very quickly set up a complete overlay by choosing one of their free or premium designs. After personalizing your overlay, you can add it as a browser source in OBS Studio and boom, you have your first complete streaming scene. You can also add your own stream graphics and with their live widgets, labels like recent follower are easily customizable to fit your design. And it gets better because Owned Pro now also features a new AI assistant. You can ask it any streaming related questions, for example, ideas for channel point rewards. Owned Pro is completely free to use 
purchase but in case you want to upgrade there will be a discount code in the description now during the rgb segment apparently my audio wasn't recording but basically what i did is i installed the rgb strip behind this cupboard there was double-sided tape on the back so they are very easy to install now something very important to mention is that they don't come with a power brick there's just a usb connector so we had to use our own but the lights are very bright there's a few pre-installed effects that you can cycle through but none of them are a single nice looking color so we will have to connect them to the application later and try to change the colors that way next is a full hd smart projector it's from a brand called xgodi and i'm pretty relieved they say full hd because on the website it said 4k and i absolutely didn't believe it so i thought it was gonna be a scam product however what i suspected is true it supports 4k so if you connect a 4k console for example it will accept the signal however what it will be outputting is 1080p but look at this 700 lumen that is the brightness of the projector and it's very very low so we're at my parents house and my parents actually have the perfect wall for this projector so i'm gonna plug in the power cable and also the hdmi so the power light is red i'm gonna turn it on and the review said that it's a very loud projector also very warm okay <laughs> we do actually hear that so there's a lens cap here on the front let's take that off okay so on the side there is a wheel and using this you can easily focus the image there is 4d keystone here and using this you can adjust everything but there's also auto adjust and look at this if i press it it pretty much perfectly adjusts i will get away from the screen so you can see for a second but this looks much better than we anticipated now the last thing I want to test with this projector is the reaction time and we also brought another gadget to test at my parents house but this is for later in the video really excited about this okay so this is a switch of Zana actually so I'm gonna let her play and she's playing Cuphead currently because that's a perfect game to test reaction time input lag is usually the downside of cheap projectors but she's saying that it's actually pretty good and that it's definitely very playable now Zana is constantly dying I think she's really bad at the game okay now overall Opinion of this projector the reaction time is much better than a slow tv colors on youtube etc were very impressive for the price if there's one downside i have to give it's that this here is very sharp however if you move to the corners or to the edges then it gets a bit more blurry it's just because the sides are further away from the projector than the middle here but besides that this is a great projector to just bring with you for example to a party with friends you put it on the table you make sure that it's sharp i think this is a great product now this next product is something i've been looking forward to this is the hypercube nano and the bigger brother of this is right there behind me that's the hypercube 10 i assembled it in a previous video when i was building this setup behind me and in that video i thought the stand was very sturdy however i checked out the product page for this nano one and it looked like the stand was very cheap on the website so i'm very curious to check this out now this is definitely much smaller than that one let me quickly show you the difference look at how much smaller it is okay we just have this here which is a control controller to turn it on and off this is the whole thing and we gotta unplug the cable to put it through the stand and i mean i wasn't wrong it's cheap plastic it also looks like it however it doesn't look bad now while researching both hypercubes we found some really interesting reviews that we want to test one of them said the colors are surprisingly bright which looking at this is absolutely true but the person also said the coding that went into this is extremely extensive you can watch it for hours and not see the same thing twice i can absolutely agree with this because the one that's been in my setup for a while it always looks different but what i want to do now is check out the application and see if all those profiles are in the app so on the bottom there's none i think this will be for the profiles and <laughs> look at all these profiles okay so this definitely proves what the person said hypersonic that sounds interesting okay nothing happens oh okay <laughs> it's sound activated that's actually perfect because the second comment this person said the music react mode is the most intelligent music response product i've seen to date and so far this reacts perfectly to my voice okay i found a song to test this with i'm gonna do it really short because i'm scared for copyright but this is a test of the cube So it definitely reacts to every single thing that happens in the music. I really like this. It is an expensive product, so it's definitely not going to be for everyone. But I am very pleasantly surprised with these hypercubes. Now, next is a product from a company that has been sending me so many emails. It's also the same company that made the Bluetooth speaker you see right there. Does very cool things and this product also shows that. So this is actually just a simple GAN fast charger. However, this company makes every product really cool by essentially taking a normal product like 
like a Bluetooth speaker or a charger and I'm building a frame around it that makes it really cool to put in your setup or carry around. I'm actually pretty curious how this charger is gonna look when it's plugged in because let's be honest this is a very cool gadget but I think it looked pretty underwhelming when plugged in. Ooh the eye slide up. So my MacBook charger is a USB-C adapter of 67 watts and the bottom port here of this charger supports 65. The charger is also protected against overheating and overcharging. Is it overpriced for a charger? Definitely. But it's a cool gadget. You're not buying it purely as a charger. You're buying it because you like having something like this in your setup. And if you take out the adapter, then you can unfold the legs like this on both sides. They rotate completely. And then it is definitely a cool gadget for your setup. It's also available in three colors. So you can check out their website. Everything will be linked in the description. Next is a product that's being sold by a bunch of companies. These are RGB triangles. They are from Cololite, which is the same company from the RGB strips. Now I found four different ways to buy RGB triangles like these. And I will put an overview on the screen. You will see the amount of panels you can buy for the price. Usually it's nine or 10. Now I've made a little test setup here. These are Govi wall panels. And then these are the Cololite wall panels. Now the Cololites kind of make me think of these panels here, which isn't a good thing because these are cheap AliExpress panels. And those also connected with the same kind of connector. However, these ones here were USB ports, which is pretty weird. Okay, now it's a little darker in here, but I made a test setup. And when you look at the Govi versus the Cololite, they look very similar, right? Well, there is a catch because the Cololites are at 100% brightness. And on the other hand, the Govi lights are at 7% brightness. So I'm gonna turn the Govi lights to 100% and look at the difference. I'm gonna release now. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Also about a minute ago, the panels disconnected from the app and Zana was trying to reconnect them. They didn't really want to. And it took five minutes before we could get them to work again with the profile. Maybe the other products they send us will be better. We will test them in a minute. This next product tops the list in how many mails I've received with requests to feature it in a video. And I have to be honest, I've been looking forward to testing this out. This is the Carperite Pro. And essentially, this is a very simple product. It's an Apple CarPlay and Android Auto monitor for in your car. It makes your car a bit more fancy by being able to connect to it with your phone. And that way having a big screen for your GPS, accepting phone calls. We will test all of it in my dad's mobile home. So we are in my dad's mobile home to install the Carperite screen. And I think it's gonna be a perfect addition to his mobile home. And it comes with this suction cup mount, which I think is the name. And you can easily just shove the screen onto that. Now, that is very sturdy. He is gonna be so happy with this. And it also comes with this DC adapter, which you just plug in. And we should be able to power it on on the top now. I think I need to start the car and the screen is starting. We are connected to Bluetooth right now and I can click here on use CarPlay. Okay, so as you can hear, the music is working. It's playing on the stereo of the car. So on the screen, there is a bunch of apps. There's Spotify as well. I have to say it's not extremely responsive. As you can see, it's a bit laggy, but not that much. So boom, stream beats and it starts playing. I'm gonna try Waze for a second. Now I'm quickly gonna film with my phone. So Waze definitely works if I wanna drive to Paris. Okay, so let's click on go now. It's calculating the route and look at this three hours and 21 minutes. This is great to have next to you while driving. Now the next product is the Elgato stream pedal. Now there's not too much to check out with this. It's a huge pedal for under your desk and this allows you to control your stream with the Elgato software. I'm curious how sturdy this is. Maybe after installing this, I will actually start streaming again. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. All right, so I just installed the Stream Deck pedal and I made a huge button to go to the Timo website because that's my most visited one. Whenever I'm looking for video ideas, I just press the button and boom, free video. Now, all jokes aside, this is the Stream Deck software and you have three buttons that you can bind. You have a bunch of control in the Stream Deck software. However, the price of this pedal is $80. I'm not sure how many people will buy this. It is premium. I mean, you can open it up and change the springs on the inside to change the pressure required to press these buttons. It's also very heavy. However, this is a very, very niche product. There's also much cheaper pedals that are being sold on Amazon, AliExpress, anywhere. They don't give you access to the Stream Deck software, but they do give you macro buttons for a cheap price. By the way, we have one of those in the studio. We're gonna show it in the next video. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see that. I don't think many people will buy this product. Now, another RGB product that Cololite sent us was this here. And since the wall panels were not that great, I didn't wanna spend too much time on it. So I built 
most of it already and you wouldn't really expect this but this here is not fake it's actually a real stone you can hear it when i smash the table so we can shove them in like this they are completely connected on the back and so i want to try them right here now again only usb so i'm going to replace the strips so let's plug these in to check them out okay they turned on they are not very bright but i'm going to turn off this light and it's a bit better right now they also came with the remote with this we can change the colors or the teams i kind of like them they're again not the brightest but is that necessary for a gadget like this i don't think so but we will also try to control these with the colo play which was the macro device from the same company that we will check out later this next product this i am really excited about this is the insta 360 flow and this is an auto tracking stabilizer so i think i have to clip it on like this and that seems pretty sturdy so connecting this is step one then i guess step two is using the magnet to connect it to the stabilizer and then step number three is turning the handle like this oh it turns on okay so it's vertical can we make it horizontal let's try zana is telling me i have to push it twice so let's try all right oh that was very smooth okay now there are two things i really want to show you because this is really cool the first one is that the auto tracking is not how you would think it is it's much more impressive so you aim at something and then you just draw an area on the screen and then as you can see it will find that product that you want to track and then no matter how you move it will perfectly track this so i can just keep it like this and just walk and it will keep tracking and then you can just remove the area again and then it goes back to just stabilizing however there are some advanced features on this with the tracking and i want to show you because that's really impressive so first of all zana is gonna select me for the tracking so just my head and then it will start tracking my face okay so the face tracking should be working right now but here's the really impressive thing so if i go out of the screen you will see that the phone can't find me anymore and then it will zoom out in order to find me again and then zoom in on me again so look at this i was really impressed with this feature it will zoom out in order to have more pixels and then find you again that's crazy now the second thing i want to show you is first of all i'm going to rotate the screen and there we go but i want to make really smooth moving b-roll of the hexagon panels it's 60 fps so we're going to slow it down in the editing and then see if it's smooth or not i will show an example now so you can judge for yourself either way besides that there's also the stabilizing you can definitely make smooth shots with that and it's just a tip of the iceberg because in the application there are so many more things you can do with this stabilizer i can't go over all of it but you should definitely check this out if you're interested now the next company sent me two products and these are two power banks but not conventional ones this is the shore geek 100 and then the storm 2 slim however fun fact since they sent me these power banks the name of the company has changed and the slim version has been discontinued i haven't unboxed the limited version yet i have checked out this one look at how cool this power bank looks you can see the batteries inside it's completely see-through on all the sides according to their website you can charge your macbook almost two times and you can charge your phone seven times with this one power bank and the coolest thing about this power bank is that you have a complete info display that shows the current specs so the outgoing wattage the battery percentage left even the temperature of the battery and the chip inside now what i want to try with this power bank is connecting it to the macbook and now it's drawing 85 watts so this power bank can definitely fast charge your appliances so that combined with how cool this power bank looks this is an amazing product and i'm gonna keep using this now this next product is something you might have seen already it's the toby eye tracker and i'm gonna be honest i was under the perception that the only use of this eye tracker was for twitch streamers to do the try not to look challenge but as you can see on the back of this box there's actually three different uses so they do indeed say that it's great to create let your viewers see what you see then the second thing is that you can control some games with your eyes because when you're looking at the left the game might move the camera to the left for example there are some games that have interactions with this eye tracker but then the third thing is really interesting for me this eye tracker will make improving in games easier okay so we just installed the toby eye tracker on the bottom of the screen i also checked the website there's over 170 games that are being supported by this also it doesn't just track eye movements but also head movements so the first thing we need to do is calibrate this device and then we can improve the calibration by tracking our eyes okay so i have to look at the dots i'm gonna look at the top one and it's gonna explode now the bottom left one 
Now there's a second software called Toby Ghost and this shows the tracking circle in OBS. You simply have to add a game capture, then capture this overlay window. Okay, and now it should be working. I'm looking at stream right now, looking at experience, looking at the OBS logo now. Okay, so I started Microsoft Flight Simulator and this, as you can see, is amazing with the eye tracker. So if I move my head to the left, I look to the left. If I move it to the right, I look over there. You can just completely move around. The head tracking and stuff is really nice for gaming. Also, there are some games that interact with the eye tracking. For example, you can look at enemies to tag them. And then the eye tracking itself is interesting as content for the stream. Or also if you want to improve in game and you want to rewatch your games to see what you're looking at, what you could improve. Oh, that was close. <laughs> see, you probably saw me looking at the collision point in order for me to see if I was going to crash or not. I really like this device. It's expensive, but it is worth it. Now, next is the Colo Play. And this is from the company Colo Light that sent all the RGB products. I think that it's mostly an aesthetic product. It's a cyberpunk themed macro device for on your desk that's by the way really really heavy. As you see here on the box it will also display the time but this device can also control all the RGB products of Cololite. There are buttons here on the side. This is rotatable. You can push this in and this feels like a very very premium product. This is a juicy thing. This Colo Play is something I'm not really sure about because it looks very premium. It feels premium. It's very heavy so overall very impressive. But then at second side, it's only four buttons and to switch between applications, you have to keep pressing this and then cycle through. It's all pretty simple. Like, look at this. This is the game you can play on Google sometimes. But like, what's the point of this? It's quirky. It's very simple. The software in general feels very simple and clunky. If you extend this, you still have to scroll right here between these things. That's pretty weird. But then if you look at it a bit more, there's actually quite some things you can do with this. And for example, we only have four buttons here. Here, and you can bind those four here in the software but then on top you see that there's four layers and you can basically make four profiles you can have a dashboard here and that gives you your current cpu usage and temperature you can cycle through this go to gpu your memory i'm not sure what to think about it however it does work together with the colo lights you can again keep pressing this button and you just go to colo controller and you click this button and they will be turned on you can choose static colors you can cycle through them and you can change the brightness by turning this knob to the left or the right. So again, my overall opinion is pretty much the same as the other Colo lights. It's not a bad product and it's very cool to put in your setup, make pictures for Instagram, but in general, it's not a desk gadget that I would spend my own money on. This is a kit for the Vitur XR glasses. XR stands for Extended Reality and <laughs> look at how premium this unboxing experience is. So these are basically sunglasses that project an extra screen in your room and unlike my Oculus Quest, for example, these have a very small form factor. I might look stupid wearing these, but they are very small. Okay, I'm looking at myself on the screen there. This looks very dumb. <laughs> now, if you want to connect all the HDMI devices, then you will need this here. This is called the mobile dock, and this thing makes your gaming mobile by being a big power bank and also allowing you to connect your mobile console like a Switch or a Steam Deck through HDMI to this power bank. Then the last edition that they send me, this is the Vitur neckband, and this looks just as high-tech as the rest. I mean, look at this there's a charging port here and then on the inside you can see the neck band which is charging through this connector here and this neck band does a lot of things you can connect it to the internet you can watch netflix on it youtube it's a smart device what i'm most interested in is gaming on a switch with this mobile dock and so we're gonna test that out this is the battery bank that allows you to use hdmi but we directly connected it to the switch and then with this other cable the whole setup is connected to the glasses and something you can do with these glasses is you can push a button on the bottom and then it will just darken everything around the screen and so that way when you're for example in a plane it becomes much easier to focus on your game now i did say that there are a few problems with these glasses that i'm seeing and the first one is that the sides are pretty blurry compared to the middle however the middle of the screen looks very bright and very colorful now the second downside i was talking about is that it's pretty hard to see the whole screen from top to bottom because the glasses are kind of blocking some of it you can kind of re adjust the glasses there are also different nose pads that are included so you can reposition it and then 
it is better, but still towards the corners, it's kind of faded and it doesn't look perfect. To be really honest, I wouldn't spend my own money on this. It's definitely a really cool product. I'm pretty sure that the claims they are making of being one of the best in their category are true. If you're someone who can easily afford this, then it's absolutely a really cool product. Zelda looked amazing when I put them on, but as a general consumer, I would still wait a bit. Now, if you want to see more gadget videos like this, you can check out that playlist. It contains my best gadget videos. And this video is a recommended one. If you want to see behind the scenes of all the products we check out in the studio, you can follow us on Instagram. The QR code will be on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.